Hi, ladies and gentlemen. Today's book is called Pepe the Lamp Lighter. The Lamp Lighter. It's by Elisa Bartone. And it is a story about an Italian immigrant family that lived in New York City probably in about the mid 1800s. This is before there was electricity and people had to go around and light the candles and the lamps or the gas flame at night. There was no electricity. So Pepe the Lamplighter, he's an Italian immigrant from Italy, moved to New York City sometime in the mid 1800s. A long time ago, when there was no electricity and the street lamps in Little Italy had to be lit by hand, Pepe lived in a tenement on Mulberry Street. A tenement is like an apartment. His father was sick and his mother was dead. And so, though he was just a boy, he had to work to help support his sisters. Listen to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sisters. They were Julia, Adelina, Nicolina, Angelina, Assunta, Marie, Mariucha, Philomena, and Albina. Albina lived in Naples with her uncle, the priest, and took care of orphans. So she was not in New York City, but the rest of them were. So there's the boy, Pepe, and here is his father and all of his sisters. Pepe tried hard to find a job. I could sweep the floor and put new sawdust down, he told Gennaro, the butcher. Sorry, Pepe, business has been slow, Gennaro answered. I could wash the glasses, he told Don Salvatore, the bartender. Maybe when you're older, Pepe, said Don Salvatore. I could help make the toroni and string the hazelnuts, he told Camere Antonietta, the candy maker. Sorry, Pepe, she answered. He even went to Fat Mary, the cigar maker. I could count the cigars and put them in boxes, he told her, but she didn't need him either. He's trying everywhere he can think to find a job to help out his family. Then one day he met Domenico, the lamplighter, on the street. I heard from Don Salvatore that you're looking for a job, the lamplighter said. I'm going back to Italy to get my wife. Will you light the lamps while I'm gone and save my job for me? Oh, yes, Domenico. Thank you, Pepe answered. Then he ran all the way home, anxious to share his good news. So here they are in the marketplace on the street. And you can see right there, Pepe is talking to the lamplighter. There's a lot going on on that busy street. Selling fruits and vegetables and meats. Papa, Nicolina, Mari Mariuccia, I have a job, he shouted. Beginning tomorrow, I will light the street lamps. Nicolina hugged him. Mariuccia kissed his cheeks. Assunta hopped up and down and clapped her hands. But Papa sat silent and still, his face like a stone. Did I come to America for my son to light the street lamps, he said. Then he walked out, slamming the door behind him. Pepe hung his head. Don't mind him, said Philomena. He's sick, he doesn't realize what he's saying, said Angelina. Papa loves you, said Adelina. It's a good job, Pepe, said Assunta. Pepe tugged gently on Assunta's hair and smiled at them. 
but he did not really feel like smiling. <clears throat> Each evening at twilight, Pepe took the long stick of the lamplighter and passed through the streets. He reached high for the first street lamp, poked open the glass, and set the lamp aflame. Then one by one, he lit them all. And each one Pepe imagined to be a small flame of promise for the future. With a joyful feeling it was, what a joyful feeling it was to light the street lamps. It was almost like lighting candles in the church for special favors from the saints. This one for Julia. May she have the chance to marry well. This one for Adelina. May she have the dress she likes. This work for Nicolina in the biscuit company. Piece work for Angelina for many gloves to sew. So each lamp he lit, there he is. He would say a special little thought for one of his sisters. This, he said to himself, is so that Asunta learns good English in the school. Good pay to embroider, I wish for Mariuccia. And for Philomena, may she learn to like New York. This for Albina, for strength in helping the orphans. This is for my mother. May she look upon us with pleasure. And this one for my papa. May heaven help his heart. And this one's for me, that I will always be able to help Domenico light the lamps. There he is, lighting a lamp and saying a little message in his head. Once when Pepe got home, Papa was watching from the window. You'll belong to the streets, he shouted. Pepe sat on the stoop way past his bedtime, then cried himself to sleep when no one else would hear. In the morning, his shoulders drooped just a little. Hey, Pepe, don't look so sad, Fat Mary teased, and Pepe tried not to. But Papa stayed angry. You'll never amount to anything, he grumbled. Julia took Pepe's hands in hers. Don't worry about it, she told him. Pepe, look up when you walk, Nicolina reminded him as he left for work. So what she meant by that was, look up, be proud. So there he is, looking down out the window, saying things down to Pepe that weren't very encouraging or nice. Pepe tried, but when he came home, Papa turned away. I don't even want to look at you. You make me so ashamed, he said. You never play with me anymore, Pepe, said Asunta. Pepe just lowered his eyes and didn't answer. And from then on, he rushed through the lighting of the lamps, sometimes forgetting which was which. It's a stupid job, he said to himself. And he began to imagine that the people of the neighborhood laughed behind his back. Soon, he would not show his face outside the tenement. And one night, the streets of Little Italy were dark. Where is Pepe, the lamplighter? Said the people to one another. Pepe sat in the kitchen, his head in his arms. And on that night, Asunta did not come home. There's the dark streets. Because Pepe did not go out to light the lamps. I wonder where his sister is. Julia kept glancing out the window. Adelina let the macaroni cook too long. Papa walked back and forth and back and forth. He didn't eat much dinner and he pushed away his coffee without taking one sip. Dovembia membimbina, they heard him mutter. No matter how big she got, Asunto would always be his baby. Finally, he spoke. Pepe, he pleaded. Don't be stubborn, light the lamps. Pepe couldn't believe what he was hearing. 
But I can't light the lamps, Papa, he said. I don't want to belong to the streets. I don't want to grow up to be a beggar. You brought us to America to do better things. I have to study to be a doctor, maybe. The streets are dark, Pepe, said Papa. Asunta is frightened. Tonight, the job of lamplighter is an important job. Please, Pepe, light the lamps. You will make me proud. Pepe could not refuse his father. Quietly, he put on his coat and collected his things. Outside, he reached high for the first street lamp and set it aflame. Then, one by one, he lit them all. Each time, he whispered, May Asunta be safe tonight. And there he is, doing his job. Adding light to the streets at night. At last, behind the last street lamp, the one that Pepe always lit for himself, he found her. She huddled against it, unable to move for fear of the dark. He picked her up. Why didn't you light the lamps for us tonight, Pepe? She asked. I'm sorry, Asunta, he answered. He found his sister at the last lamp post. Pepe, when I'm bigger, I want to be like you. I want to light the street lamps. I think it must be the best job in America. The best job? Pepe wondered. You scare the dark away, Asunta told him. Pepe smiled and held her tighter. He glanced up at the last street lamp. You can light this lamp tonight, Asunta. He helped her hold the stick. On the way home, Asunta fell asleep in Pepe's arms. As Pepe walked, he held his head up and his eyes were bright again. Pepe walked into the tenement and climbed the stairs to their apartment. Asunta was still sleeping. Six sisters ran to embrace them both. Then they had to make room for their father. For the first time in a long time, he put his hand on Pepe's shoulder. It's a good job, Pepe, he said. Light the lamps. You make me proud. There he is, walking home with his little sister. And here's the rest of his family coming to greet them. So Pepe lit the street lamps once again, pretending with all his might that each one was a small flame of promise for tomorrow, like it used to be. And there he is, doing his job. What do you think? Do you think being the lamplighter was an important job? Pepe the Lamplighter by Alisa Bartone.